Happy Jan. Yasas and welcome to Vasili's Moment of Truth. Have a look at this. I did a segment the other day, I don't know, about a week ago, not even, talking about get ready for aphids in your garden. I was out in the orchard checking those out because we've got an open space area there, high winds all the time. In fact, I, might, I need to go out there because this can be my indicator and we should all have one of those and I'll tell you about that in a minute, just remind me. But if aphids are out there, I'm in trouble. Indicator plants, I'll finish that up because I'm going to forget what I'm talking about. Indicators are a plant that <clears throat> starts off early, produces flowers early, or is the first plant in the garden that attracts a pest or disease. Now we spoke about you know the, the, the microbial count in the soil, making sure that's rich with all the, the wonderful stuff, but you don't always get that ability in having the plants having the plants enzymes triggered to be able to warn off and control these pests from going onto them. And what I mean is Sometimes you can do all, everything right in the garden, but the microclimate is just suited so perfectly that the insects will turn up and cause some havoc uh, on your plants. And that's what's happened here. Okay, what have we got here? This is a golden queen. It is a peach, obviously. Um, now, running through the aphid, sap-sucking insect. This is a black aphid. Uh, I spoke about it. We didn't have any examples of it when I spoke last time about it in the orchard. So this little microclimate here is perfect for it and you can see it, it goes on all the new stems. It actually attacks all the buds, the leaf buds, the flower buds and it hangs around the buds at the bottom, sucking the living daylights out of it. You can see it there, have a look at that. That is shocking, isn't it? Now, if you do nothing to this, it'll actually dry your tree out and cause it to die back and you will have a dead tree and it'll also cause the leaves to uh, develop leaf curl on them too so the blistering and all that will happen because they get inside right where the leaves start to form right inside those cracks and crevices and it's almost impossible to get them out you can see i'm just barely touching it like this and it's on my fingertips there already and there's probably hundreds if not thousands on here at the moment folks so Treating the tree whilst it's in flower is a hard one to do because you never want to spray the flower, but if you do nothing, you're going to lose the flowers regardless. They'll suck the living daylights out of them, dry up, and they'll fall off, and they'll just mummify on the plant, and you don't want that because then other problems start to occur. Look at that, just pulling them off like that. So small trees, you can treat them like this. This literally the finger touch. Oh, look. Oh, mate. Anybody for some caviar? Folks, who would like some caviar? That's exactly what, look at that, that is, that is nasty, just on that one stem. And on top of that, you'll find ants travelling up and down because they excrete this honeydew. The excretion is a sweet honeydew that the plants simply love. And I've got it all over me, just remind me not to touch my face. And they'll farm them, and here they are again. And that's what you've got to do, you basically run your fingers along the stem, dislodge them, and you can get the hose onto this. So let's trial that as well, because I know a lot of you won't like to touch them. Well, put some gloves on, some, you know, those kitchen gloves and get around there and just rub the stems and obviously try and be delicate around the flower so you don't knock them off. Or otherwise, let me get the hose. It's actually just here. I'm going to start with the soft hose. So it's a soft spray. I don't think we're going to dislodge too many of them with this little spray unit, but let's give it a go. Nah. See that? They're not falling off. They're just getting a nice wash. We're going to need to use higher pressure. All right, it's just going to take the, uh, the hose fitting off here. I'm not going to get the jet nozzle out because that's going to be too much pressure. And I'm going to just lightly release the pressure from here to spray onto there. Yeah, they, most of them are gone. But you don't want too much pressure because you'll knock the plant out for six. bit shaky jakey here I know that folks but let me just finish doing this and see how they look at the end still some on there not all of them are falling off you know, actually you know what's happened I washed this side off <laughs> now I'm gonna go on this side <laughs> here we go again we're ready Probably a lot better than using chemicals, what do you reckon folks? Now, failing this, you can go to a spray. I'm going to suggest making your own. 
and that's basically soap. Oh, they're all gone. Look at that. 99% of them are gone, I think. Yeah. It's a lot better than what it was before, even if there is only one or two on there. A lot better. Oh, there's some underneath this one here. There we are. So you've got to make sure you spray all around the stem because they're so small and you're spraying the water just going in one direction. On the other side where it's not, there's no water hitting it, they'll still be there. So make sure you get all the way around. And I'm not going to do it like this, folks, because it's going to go straight into the camera. Oh, look at that, underneath. Still underneath there. Again, when you're washing them off, all the way around from underneath and up. So stand back there for a second. Ah, needs a good wash. This shouldn't affect the flowers if you're not doing it too hard or directly onto the flower. Well, we hope it doesn't, but get it all off like that. It's a lot better for the plant, I reckon. Now, if that doesn't satisfy you and you find that it's still coming back, remember the tree guard around the base, that's uh, glad wrap, not masking tape, just glad wrap or something similar that doesn't stick to the trunk and then get your tree guard paste onto there. You can use Vaseline but that's a petroleum base and if it goes onto the trunk directly it can cause some burning and you don't want to do that. And then make your own spray, go to your kitchen pantry, pull out your olive oil, you can use vegetable oil or canola oil if you like, that's the cheap stuff because pretty much that's what the uh, insecticide sprays are made. The eco oils, that's a base. It's a vegetable oil base with a stabiliser added into it. Um, you can make it yourself. So get yourself a vegetable oil and put a couple of drops or a teaspoon of worth of dishwashing liquid. Use the cheapest one because the, the more expensive ones have all sorts of additives into it where the cheap ones are purely just a soap base. So get that and mix that in with your vegetable oil in one litre of water. So a teaspoon of oil up to a tablespoon with a teaspoon of soap, a litre of water. Mix it, spray it onto your plants. But again, avoid spraying the flowers with the oils because you will knock it out, it won't pollinate, it won't set fruit. Um, and you don't want to damage them like that. So if you can avoid spraying your tree and just hose it off, it's a better way. Or hopefully the flowers set. And like doing this, you give your flowers a better chance of setting. Now this is a little trial tree we got here. Don't look at it as if I don't look after my plants, folks, because I do the best I can. There's only one little old me and there's about 5,000 trees on this property. Check out our website, vasilisgarden.com. And if you're looking for some of our products at your local nursery, go to our stockist page to find your nearest nursery stockist uh, carrying our range. And if they haven't got the range, let them know about us. If they're interested in carrying it, we'll contact them. Otherwise, go to the ones that have got it already and the planting mix is out there, north, east, west and south. Well, sort of southwest, southwest. There's also east and north. So three locations, four locations. Uh, get it into your garden and look after your plants the natural way. From Eva Silly, Maresi.